Today, Incognito Pasta returns to the taste spot with their vanilla variety of pasta, handmade fresh pasta, that we're gonna make some caramel apple pasta with. That's gonna blow your mind. First things first with the pasta, yes it is fresh, but we also need to cook it. About three minutes, cooks very quickly. Get your boiling water on your stove, take your pasta, fresh pasta out, see, just like this, and drop it on in. Well, that's cooking, we're gonna get a start on our caramel apple sauce. Yes, for caramel apple pasta. What a crazy, crazy concoction, but you are going to love this. Let's go to the stove. We start out with a pan on high heat and we add about five tablespoons of butter. No one said this was a healthy recipe, just a delicious one. As that butter is melting, we're gonna add in a diced up apple, just like that. Make sure that it's all coated in the butter. Let that apple cook for about four to five minutes. All right, our apples are cooking nicely in the butter. On top of that, we're gonna add some brown sugar. This is where the caramel starts to come into play. You can be fairly liberal with this. Start spreading that around to the apples. Then mark, make your heat uh, move back down to about a, a low to a medium. Probably closer to a low because the next thing we're gonna do is start infusing some heavy cream into this. Now it's very hard to make heavy cream curdle, but at the same point, you don't want to make any sort of optimal conditions for it to uh, to do anything of the sort. So you don't want to do it all at once because you do it all at once. That is a perfect recipe for curdling. This is basically a caramel apple sauce that we've just created. Let that cook on medium for a little bit. All right, our sauce is looking amazing. And toss in our vanilla pasta, just like this. Take it off the heat, turn the heat off, and you want to get it tossed now. And you don't want the caramel sauce to be, you know, super crazy thick by any stretch of the imagination. You get that, you can have one big gooey mess. You want this to be, you know, pasta sauce like consistency. So not super watery, but not crazy thick either. Got our container out there. We're gonna plate it up just like this. Get our pasta in there like that. Top it off with some of the apples right on top. And you may think I'm crazy for this. It's kind of a regional thing, but I like to top apple pies, anything with apple and caramel with a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. Just like that. Absolutely perfect. And now my favorite part, we get to try the caramel apple pasta creation with that fresh vanilla pasta from Incognito Pasta. A really amazing thing about their pasta is it is so full of flavor. If you've had flavored pastas before that you've bought and they were, you know, dried or whatnot, and you went, these really aren't that flavorful, totally not the case with Incognito. These guys and gals know what they're doing with their pasta flavors. Let's try it flavor and the smell. The smell is just, it's amazing. Wow. This would be an amazing dessert. Completely blow your guests away. They would never expect anything like this. But you need a vanilla pasta. It's such a key ingredient in this. You can get the recipe, you can get the link to get the pasta on our website at thetastespot.com. I'm Tony Bruschi. Thanks for watching.